For many who live on this block in Rockford, Illinois, it might be a surprise to learn the future of human spaceflight is under construction just down the street. You wouldn't say that Rockford is one of the uh, key uh, cities for space, you know, space uh, and defense, and especially Ingersoll, so many people might not know. But behind the walls of Ingersoll machine tools, work is underway to create critical components for NASA's effort to return astronauts to the moon and eventually to Mars. So this is the barrel section of Orion. So it's the central section of the pressure vessel. It's where the astronauts will basically live and work and the only place they'll have to go while they're on this mission. The barrel is one of four components Ingersoll manufactures for the Orion Deep Space Capsule in NASA's Artemis program. The parts for the spacecraft, they come from all over the country. We employ thousands of people at over 900 suppliers, just like Ingersoll here across the country. We also have uh, 10 European countries that participate under the umbrella of the European Space Agency. Components made during our visit to Ingersoll are part of Artemis II, a mission carrying up to four astronauts about 40,000 miles beyond the moon, planned for 2024. NASA's last crewed lunar missions occurred before Ingersoll Chief Innovation Officer Pierre Giorgio Assandri was born, but they made a big impact on his family and led him to move from Italy, his birthplace, to the United States. It was during my childhood a big topic to discuss and for me it made the difference to be in that nation and be now a citizen of that nation and participate to a program that will bring back people to the moon. The Ingersoll made components eventually go to Florida where some Orion capsule parts are assembled at Lockheed Martin's new Star Center in Titusville, not far from NASA's Kennedy Space Center. This particular center here was an 18 month, $20 million investment by Lockheed Martin. Kelly DeFazio oversees the work at Star Center. We do the uh, sub-assemblies here. You know, this is basically the, uh, the nervous system, so to speak, exactly. of the uh, capsule, exactly. right? Exactly, so you wouldn't see any of this. It's all within or internal into the, the structure, you know, mounted into the structure of the vehicle. While activity at the Star Center during our visit was preparing for Artemis II, work is already underway for future missions. Artemis three hardware will start build up here in the next few weeks. In addition to the, the cables that you saw feeding into Artemis two, we also have the side hatch here and we're applying the TPS and that side hatch is for Artemis two as well. So that launch is in uh, 2024. Beset by delays and cost overruns, NASA estimates that when the Artemis two crew orbits the moon in 2024, Orion capsule costs alone will top $13 billion. The total cost for the entire Artemis program is expected to reach $93 billion by the time astronauts step foot on the lunar surface, currently projected for 2025. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Kennedy Space Center, Florida.